finally some peace and quiet. So as I was trying to explain to you guys, we decided to make these arched panels to go into doors in a new cabinet we are building for a client. It seemed like, pretty, like a pretty simple uh, exercise in the beginning, but after nearly two weeks I was close to madness. I thought you would simply route out the three sides and that would be the end of the story. But on the inside curve here, either this side would shatter and that side would break, or this side would shatter and that side would break. If that didn't happen, then there's little, very little meat here for the router bearing to run on, so the lines wouldn't be crisp and neat. It was driving me insane until my journeyman suggested I try a gooseneck on the router. I've never done this technique before and I was pretty skeptical because I was just fed up with this project. But I gave it a shot and it worked amazingly well. At the same time I searched high and low online for, for videos to show me how to make this kind of form um, and I came up empty. So I thought I'd share this little uh, project with you guys. So a gooseneck is really just uh, something that takes the place of the bearing on your router. Something that your form can follow uh, without having to deviate from your template. We're going to make one with these, these straps today and uh, we should have this uh, panel ready in no time at all. Let's go for it. We've got a beautiful piece of African mahogany here. It's already been thickness to the panel size. The first thing we're going to do is to make sure that two sides are square to each other. This is quite critical for, for the panel to fit nicely into the door. And I'm just going to cut that off on the table saw quickly. template here that I made out of a piece of scrap. It's the size and shape we want for the door panel. I'm just going to mark it off on our piece of wood here. It's oversized obviously because you want to fit it to the door. And that's it. I'm going to cut that out roughly on the bandsaw quickly and then it's jig time. Alright, here's a quick little jig I made. Um, obviously you don't want to cut right up to the line, you want to keep it a bit, give yourself a bit of meat there. And uh, we've got a, the arch we want over there. I'm just going to stick that on with a bit of uh, carpet tape. Take a flush trim router bit and get us a straight edge to begin with. I've mounted my router to this piece of scrap MDF. And as you can see, there's very little space between the material which will be left and the router. Even when I put a template on, which I am going to do in any case, I'm not comfortable that the space will allow the bit to flow smoothly and make a clean cut. And this is where the gooseneck comes in. So uh, let's make one quickly. So all the gooseneck really is, is something that's going to be taking the place of the bearing. And we're just going to sketch this out quickly. Just want a bit of a round over to give us a bit of space to work. I'm going to cut off this area on the bandsaw. Give myself a little bit of space here to clear the bit. Shoot it onto this board and we're good to go. Right, I've got my guide piece on, I've got my gooseneck in place, and let's see what we can do here. Right, and here is our inside mold. As you can see, the remainder of the wood over here is very, very thin. And there's a good chance that this would have slipped in between the bearing on the router bit and the actual bit itself, hence the need for a gooseneck. That is maybe about three millimeters. But uh, we've got a nice clean cut. Just need a little bit of sanding. And the panel can be fitted into the 
attention to the style, like so. Once you've done the outside, obviously. Thanks for watching, and remember, hit those subscribe, share, and like buttons.